today I have my three um, prom hair tutorials because I did a three prom look ideas video and I got a lot of people asking me to show how I did the hair on all of them. So unfortunately, um, they're a little bit different than they looked in the video because I did cut my hair and get layers like shorter um, from since then. So I'm really sorry about that if it's kind of throwing you off, it's not what you expected. But um, if you have short hair like me, I'm showing you how you can do it like me. And if you have longer hair, you can still do it this way. The way that I'm showing you is still the way that I did it when my hair was longer too. So just follow the same steps and it will be good. So I'm just going to show you how I did the looks. Um, I'm so excited for, to show you these because you guys want to see them so badly. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get started. I'm going to start out with the glamorous look and to curl my hair I'm going to be using the Titan 3 set from Numi and I'm so excited to bring this on my trip to New York because it is great for traveling. I can have all the size curling barrels as you can see because it comes with three of them without the hassle of bringing all of the different wands. I'm just using the smallest one because my hair is so short and I'm going to spray my hair with this heat protectant but somehow every time I use this wand I feel like my hair is actually healthier and moisturized so this is just a just in case. Now I'm just sectioning off my hair so it's easier to find all the pieces and curl them. So I'm just jumping into it, I'm going to wrap the hair away from my face on the barrel. You've seen this a ton of times of how to curl your hair on a barrel. So it's just pretty basic. Just make sure to curl your hair away from your face. The only time I would curl it towards my face is if I were scattering pieces throughout my hair like that, only if I was doing a kind of wavy, messy look, but this is for a formal event. And I'm also putting this glove on because I was getting scared that I was going to burn myself. So safety precaution. Okay, even when it's humid, I feel like these curls don't go flat. And that's really important for prom because you're going to be dancing and it's going to be all sweaty and gross and you don't want your hair fallen. When I'm done with that layer, I am just going to spray my hair so it stays in place just using a normal hairspray any hairspray that you like you can use i used to trust me Numi actually has a bunch of different colors in this set that i'm using the color that i have is the bubblegum pink but they also have a vivid purple and a tiffany blue i always make weird voices when i film voiceovers and i move my hands too I'm just finishing off with hairspray and then I'm going to actually do the style. I just take this piece of hair on the side where I have less hair and I'm just pulling it to the side and then I'm just going to bobby pin that in place. So it's just pretty much pulling everything to the side and we'll keep it there. Pretty simple. This is a really easy hair look and I did this for homecoming too but I, I twisted it. This is just a simpler version. But I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute, especially when your hair is longer. Like I said, my hair is short. It doesn't work as well, but it still looks so cute and it's very glamorous. Now moving on to the girly look. Um, I'm keeping my curls from yesterday. So after curling my hair with this, the curls actually last for a long time. So I'm just gonna work the second day curls. This style is extremely simple. All you do is pull your hair to the side and put it in a bun. Like I said before, my hair is short now, so it's a little bit more difficult. I have all these hairs sticking out. I'm trying to pin them in place. If you have the same problem, you can try to do that too. But maybe if you have short hair, this is not the best look for you. <laughs> this is more for my girls with long hair. But I'm just pinning that in place to try to, try to keep my hair from going all crazy. And my curled pieces in the front work out perfectly because they just outline my face does that not frame my face they just frame my face and that's pretty much it i have a little bit of an alfalfa but we we can ignore that this look is so pretty though and it's so so simple i have faith in you guys this is easy to do you can do it last but not least is edgy so i got the most comments on this look i'm keeping the curls again but it also looks super cute if your hair is straight too i am just taking the section on the top of my head i'm trying to section off my hair to make it a nice neat part 
but I completely failed. It's alright though, because it will all look good at the end. I'm just taking this on the top of my head to keep it out of the way so I can pull back the rest of my hair so I don't get it all mixed up and I would just get way too stressed out if it was all in the way. I'm going to pull my hair down and I'm going to start teasing it. So look at this part, it's terrible, you can laugh at me. I'm taking this piece and I'm just spraying it with hairspray. Then I take a comb. A teasing comb would be best, but you guys probably just have a regular comb, so that works awesome too. And this looks really painful. Now that I'm looking at it right now, it looks so painful, but I promise you it's not. Um, let's go through this again. So I'm just taking a section in front of that and spraying it with hairspray at the root just makes it a little bit more dirty so it will stick the knots will stick and i just take the comb and pull backwards towards my root and it will just create knots that will give you a lot of volume another thing i can promise is that you will look crazy during the process of this but i'm just gonna continue all you do is take the section in front of it work from the back forward Tease, 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 tease. Your arms will hurt, but you can take some breaks. When you get to the last layer, you're not going to tease that because that's going to help it look smooth. You're just going to lay it on top of your really messy knotted hair and just lay it on top and it will smooth it out and make it look neater. Also, spraying it with hairspray will keep it in place and make it look smoother also if you run your hand over it because it makes it wet and will stick in place. And then I'm taking a tiny little rubber band and tying that around the top. A colored one that matched your hair would be best too, but I just had a clear one. Then I'm just pinning whatever in place to keep it there and to push it up in certain places just to make it how I like it. Then I'm pulling down my hair and fixing it to put it into a good ponytail. Just gathering it and voila, this is me putting my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> To finish this off, I'm just going to pull down these pieces to frame my face, make it a little bit messier because it's grungier, edgier, and that is the final look. Um, I hope you learned something from this. If you use any of these for prom or whatever you do, I would love, love, love to see a picture. Make sure you tweet me or tag me in an Instagram picture. Those are all of the looks, but I have some coupon codes, which is a mouthful, but you're going to love it. For new me, use the code SUNSHINE for $150 off the Titan 3 in any color, plus a free argan oil. And use the code MANDYLOVE to get any individual curling wand for $39. That's crazy. Awesome deals. More info on that will be in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.